Hello, welcome to this tutorial for beginners on Logic Pro X. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you the basics of how to use Logic Pro, everything you need to do to get started so that you can get on and make a song. So if you want to become more confident with using Logic Pro X, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. Thank you. So I'm here with a budding musical entrepreneur. So the first thing we need to do is to record a bass drum in. Uh, it's a dance track straight four. So do you want to lay down, get up a drum kit? Bass drum. Um, I think we'll go with C, C3 there. Stop. Okay. Now we need to quantize that. Select the part, quantize it. We're going to use 16. If you deselect it and stick the quantize on 16 as well, stick it on 16 there. Right? Uh, so that every, everything that we record from now on will be on a 16 quantize. Right. So if you listen to that, now there, a quick way to do a loop around a part is if you click on the part and then hit U, uh, it will automatically do a two bar loop for you. Now, the next thing to do is to get the bass drum so that it's quantized volumes it's already quantized in time so we're going to just for most of the time we're going to use apple 4 and if we go to the menu apple 4 is open piano roll so if you'd like to go apple 4 apple 4 now the next thing to do is to get all these bass drums to the same volume now we're doing everything on this page rather than going to other pages to do this, just because I think if you're starting off, you don't want to learn everything at once. So let's do as much as we can in the piano roll page, because that's the page most people use for most things. Okay, if you play that back now. Right, now the next thing to do is to record in a bass part um, we could start with the keyboard part, but we've decided to do with bass part. And the way we do that is we get a recorder and stick it in record. So we've got just a voice memos here. I'm going to play the bass drum. Would you like to sing the bass part? So there you go. We've recorded the part. Have a listen back. Put the part into the phone. Next thing we do is we send it to the computer and I'm going to use AirDrop and I'm going to select the Mac and we'll pull that in. We we'll open up a new audio track. Bass guide. Okay, so um, we've just put the part in. Now we're going to just smaller the screen and we're going to use this here just to make the parts much bigger. Yeah, now um, we can just, we know that it's near the end of that. So let's just pull that up to about there and let's hit U. Remember the U, Apple U to get perfect round. So there we've um, got the uh, the part. So we can just pull that to about there. Pull that to about there. Apple U. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now one thing we can do is once we get the screen looking nice how we want to look at it, we can record the screen by going to the top here and hitting lock and then whenever you lose the screen that you, you, you're working on like that, if you hit one, it just comes back. Okay, can you just pull that so all this new base part that we've just done starts on bar one, yeah? Okay, now do a loop around the, the bass drum pattern. Do you remember using the U button? Click on the bass, bass drum, click on the bass drum. No, the bass drum, and hit U. Unmute it. Hit play. That's good enough for jazz. Okay, so what we're going to do now is record the bass part in. Do you want to just uh, get a bass sound up? The reason why we do it this way is it's the quickest way to lay in a bass part rather than trying to remember how the bass line went. Subby bass. Right. Okay, hang on. So we've actually, yeah. Right, okay, so we'll get this, we'll put this back to drums, drum kit, Blue Ridge. Okay, so if you listen to this, right, we could get that a little bit tighter just by pulling that in like that, pulling that to there, and probably best to start with a one bar loop to begin with. Now, if we hit record, it gives you one in, So now we're going to have a go at recording the bass. Uh, we put, there's a, a low latency, which is very important. And the way to get that to that is you click on this and this gives you all the options. And we look for this one here, low latency, okay. Click that on. And then when you play, there's no delay. So let's hit U and hit record. Right, I made one mistake on that. So if we go to Apple 4. Let's move this up. Okay, and now we select all. Apple 7. And we go to Function, MIDI Transform, Fixed Velocity, 110, Return, Operate. That gets all the notes to the same volume. And uh, if I went a bit quick there, you can always rewind the video. So have a listen. Right. Next thing we want to do is put a bit of um, compression and stuff like that on it. So we turn the latency off and this sound has already got subby bass on, which is all right, bass sample on, but the compressor, we can have a little look at this compression and we're at a beginner's level. So we're going to start by going to the presets and we're going to go to guitars, find FET bass and hit play. And as you can see, the compressor's doing nothing. So what we're going to do is move the ratio, so move the threshold until it starts moving. And I was going to mess around with the, the ratio, but I reckon about three is good. And we can knock that back so that it's between zero and minus, point, minus point 0.5. Hit option and click on there, brings that to zero, I don't know why. Logic puts it at seven, probably because they want the whole logic to distort, but you can see it's at a decent level now. And we... So we've got the bass there, subby bass, and we've got the bass drum here. I'm gonna click on that, call that bass drum, and then hit alternate end to name the channel bass drum. Alternate C to color it. And we're going to colour the drums red, 
and the base brown, save it to disc and then we'll just, oh, and let's just get rid of this. This is just a guide that can go now. And we got this. Now we're gonna pick a more dancey bass drum. So we, ah, oh, right, okay. So click on this here and let's go down to electronic kits. So go back a, a page. Yeah, and go to electronic kits out here and then go down to 909. There's a 909 there. And now 909, it's got all these, it's, that's already there. Sounding good, but if you look on this, we've got all these sounds. So let's pull this down to here and let's mute the bass and see what sound we get if we do this. Okay, so it's your bass drum. So the next thing to do is to have an open hat. Close, close, open. And let's see what it sounds like. Ah. Oh. Okay, there's the open hat. So we just hit play, record. Because we've got quantize on, everything's being quantized to 16. Uh, we're going to put a closed hat now. Let's find a closed hat. Yeah, there we go. So we're using all the 909, right? If we hit play, it stops recording. And let's try some claps. Right, I didn't hit record, but if you hit shift R, it gives you the sound anyway. Uh, let's see what the congas are like. All right. Oh, actually that was quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah, so we could do this. No, we'll go for the congas, right? This is just a guide sound, you know what I mean? Right, um, do you wanna get, right, we'll go to drum kit. Um, we're gonna go for, where's percussion? Can you see our oh, percussion? Um, and then we got Latin. I'm gonna put this latency on, cause it was like, So here we go, for one more. back in okay so and the levels are not bad so we're just going to put one keyboard part in um, and you found a great keyboard part didn't you do you want to get that sound so um, we're just going to That was all right. All right, just play it.
verb on, a uh, little delay on that. Factory dance. Here we go. So we've got uh, a little bit of a um, compression. Go to dance. All right. So there's a little bit of brightness on there. That did actually sound quite nice. That. So we'll leave that on. This is probably doing nothing. can extend it by hitting Apple R. There we go. Uh, put a loop around the whole thing. And we can just put a little keyboard part on. Stereo. quantize on this and it goes at four open this up I'm gonna put another pad on all right so Okay, so we're just going to do just do one more keyboard part. And actually, what would be really nice is to find some kind of clavy sound. But um, we're just doing this quickly using whatever is easy to get to. But I think I'll just leave it on this sound. Sod it, right? Uh, here we go. So. That's how the song's building up. So that's the end of uh, the first session. Yeah. 